If you've ever seen this error when trying to use a MOV file with alpha transparency in Camtasia 9, I've got some good news for you. In this video, I'll show you a free way to convert those files to work properly, like this. Hi, Lon Naylor here with another Camtasia 9 tutorial. Let's get started. This might seem a little geeky, but stick with me for just a moment and I'll very briefly explain the problem so we understand the solution and then I'll walk you through step by step so you can just follow along and eliminate all the technical crap. Basically, Camtasia 9 only supports MOVs with alpha transparency that are encoded with the PNG alpha codec. The problem is that tons of these very cool and very handy video clips are created with one of the other many encoding methods, so Camtasia chokes on them. For example, one of my favorite resources for these videos is a platform called Videos, and they use one of the most common methods called the Animation Codec. So, our goal is to convert or re-encode the file from the animation codec or whatever other codec to the PNG alpha codec. Once we do that, all will be good. The free program we'll use is an open source utility called FFmpeg and it's actually a couple of programs. One program that does the rendering and another front end user interface that drives everything and lets us configure stuff. Again, don't worry about the details, just follow along. First, download the two programs. The first program is the rendering engine called FFmpeg. Click the link below to download it, and I recommend saving it to your downloads folder and create a new folder called FFmpeg. Click the link below to download the second program, which is the Windows user interface called FFE, and save it to the same folder. Next, we're going to put everything in one place so these two programs work seamlessly together. You only have to go through this installation process once. The first step is to unzip both of the zip files. This will create two new subdirectories. This big long weird one which is the rendering engine and one called FFE underscore x64 which is our user program. And what we're going to do is move the user program so it can easily find and use the rendering engine. From the FFE directory, open the lower folder and then right click on the FFE program and copy. Open the engine directory, the lower folder, and then open the bin directory. And then right click and paste the FFE program in. And that's it. Again, you only have to do this once and after that, double clicking the FFE program will launch our conversion app. You can also right click on the icon and create a shortcut link to your desktop to make it super easy to get to. Let's launch the program either from the bin directory or the shortcut. It's possible you may need to disable your antivirus program or whitelist it. And then give Windows permission to run the program. The input file will be the MOV that does not currently work in Camtasia. In this demo, I'll be using a video's lower third animation. And for the output, I recommend creating a special folder called converted or something like that so you can easily find your newly converted versions of your video assets. Also, by default, FFE seems to want to give it a MKV extension, which won't work, so just be sure to replace that with a .mov at the end. We want to select PNG as the video codec from this list and make sure to select AAC as the audio. And then hit do it. And that's it. When it finishes, you should be able to just drag and drop into Camtasia without any errors and it should work as advertised. Hey, if you found this tutorial useful, why not go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell notification thingy so you don't miss an episode. 
and hit the like, leave a comment or question, and share if the mood strikes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.